Hey guys, Ascendant God here with Raid Shadow Legends doing a clan boss fight. As you can see, I'm already into the clan boss fight a ways here. I didn't want to start from the beginning because at the beginning it's a little bit boring. There's not much going on. Now there's more mechanics going on here. I can show you a little bit more and, and ultimately you just want to see how things work when it's actually you're worried about survival because the, the fight does last a while. I didn't want to have a really long fight here. so. Anyway, so as you can see, I got Nethril, Steel Skull, Martyr, Dracomorph, and Tyrell. I have a really solid clan boss team here. I've just been really, really fortunate to great, get great champions for clan boss. Nethril works out great with a counter. I'm going to start attacking here, and I'll talk to you about the mechanics of what's going on as we go. Now, one of my disadvantages currently right now is that I have so many poisons, because I have three different poisoners, that a lot of times I cap off on those poisons before I can actually use other things that I would like to use. Now, I want to remove this from him. See, the thing is, is one thing to touch on right now is that when somebody is stunned, you can leave the stun on them. It's no big deal. It doesn't make a huge difference as long as, like, you can see his hit points are still really high because I'm not that, that far into the clan boss yet. But if I don't remove this stun, it keeps his... Uh, his cooldowns from reducing so you can leave a stun on a champion like this like Tyrell is the best champion of mine to get stunned because his cooldowns are the least important of everybody's so really if I the only reason that I want to remove it from him right now is because I can see there's the turns for the AoE which means that Martyr is about to oh, let me change this so we don't get spammed with I didn't know that was on global chat all right here we go clan chat so all right great so, I don't. I, if I don't remove this, it's not going to reduce his cooldowns. Tyrell's ideal because out of all my champions, his cooldowns are the the ones I need the least. But I don't have attack down on the clan boss right now. This point in time, as you can see, I'm the 12 minute mark in. It's getting to the point now where, and and normally it wouldn't be 12 minutes; it'd be about eight minutes. But I was kind of just messing around here and there earlier. So. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me record. And I had to get that set up. But anyway, um, but at this point in the in the rounds, I want attack down at all times. So I'm gonna unstun him just to make sure that I can do his attack down. She has an attack down, but as you can see, the AOE attacks are about to happen. And with Martyr, she is my counter champion. So I want her to put counter up at this point. So let me go ahead and throw those poisons out there. I have enough room for the poisons right now. So he's gonna do four at most. Yep, he did all four. Great. So I got five on the clan boss. Want to get my counter up. Now, see, my timing is a little off here. Normally, you want her going last and getting all the counters up at the same time. And this is why I said I wanted to start this a little bit further into the clan boss. So you can see when you have champions with masteries that have the turn meter manipulations in the, uh, basically, the support tier where they get the extra turn meter increases when debuffs come off or buffs come off, things like that. Sure, those things are nice, but they can throw off your counter because now, instead of all my champions getting two turns for counter, some of them are only going to get the one turn before counter comes off of them, unless uh, they get the three turns. Now, see, as you can see here, Dracomorph got three turns for his counter, so he would be fine, but he's not one of the ones Tyrell and Nethril are the ones who are going to have the two turns. So I got five up here. Nethril can do a maximum of three poisons with so three hits, so I'm still fine. I have room for attack down. All right, here we go. I want to do his attack down, so I'm going to do his A1, which is where his attack down is. Oh, I missed it. That's... All right, I should be fine here. Yeah, this damage isn't that bad, especially because with my counter, I have a defense up with Martyr. Martyr, in my opinion, is the best counter champion in the game. She's absolutely amazing because she gives you that counter, but she also gives you a defense up with everybody. It's absolutely beautiful. So, all right, here we go. Now, with Steel Skull, he brings a few different mechanics to the table, so I want to use his poisons right now. I don't need poisons, obviously, but... Not much else better to do with him. The poison's already topped off, otherwise I would have wanted... Well, it doesn't really matter at this point because his weak, his A3 isn't up yet. But always want to use his A3 so because his A3, Dracomorph's A3, has the weakness as well as defense down. I'm fine on defense down because I also have that with Tyrell, but I don't have the 
weakness up. All right, so I'm going to use his A3 right now because, as you can see, attack down has three turns, defense down has three turns. That's because of the masteries. Normally, it's just two turns, but because of the masteries that I've used, sometimes I get three, uh, an extra turn on things. Master Hexer, I believe. It, yeah, the Master Hexer. So, great, great, actually, uh, great uh, skill. And then there's also one, it's like Plentiful Gifts or something like that. It's on the same tier in support, and that does the other end. Instead of for debuffs extending them, it extends buffs. It's like a 30% chance to extend them. That's why some of these champions only had two turns for the defense up or counterattack, and some of them had three. All right, so here we go. And I want... Uh, I need that weakness up. So this is six, eight. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do his defense up because I want to make sure that Drake Morph gets his chance to do this here, his A3. I didn't want to fill up the clan boss yet with debuffs because I want weakness up on him. There we go. Beautiful. So I want to fill the clan boss with debuffs right now, but I want to do it with, there should always be, whenever Drake Morph's a3 is up. I always want weakness up at all times. I always want defense up at all times, and I always want attack down at all times. At least later on into the rounds. Like in these rounds, when the clan boss's damage starts going up, I want that up at all times. In the beginning, attack down isn't that important, and there are times where I actually don't worry about it in the beginning because of the fact that there's really not a need to because the damage isn't that bad because as you guys know for who's done clan boss before the damage increases over time and he hits harder and harder later on in the rounds that's when attack down becomes more important in the beginning it's taking up a slot when you could fill it up with poison so to me personally i intentionally avoid the attack down in the beginning and that's the only thing that you missed with me coming into this later on in the rounds is the fact that i tend to avoid attack down in the beginning and i'll tend to use tyrell's other attacks first and actually try to keep him from casting the attack down all right now with her I don't like her getting stunned. This is where Steel Skull comes in really handy. He doesn't need his heals as, that much until near the very, very end, as you can see, because most people keep themselves topped off here with Life Steal, especially with a counter in Life Steal. But I want to use his A2 because it removes all debuffs and heals. Because the thing is, if I don't remove her debuff, she's going to go through her turn like usual, but she's not going to have her cooldowns actually get cooled down. That's the disadvantage with stun, is that she would go through her turn, become unstunned like usual, but her cooldowns wouldn't come up, which means she wouldn't have counter for the two AoEs. And it would be it would mess up the timing there, and I don't want that to happen. So, all right, so I still have a turn on all these things. I am... Hmm. It's a tough call here. I think I, I want to use his poisons because Nethril's going to cap off the poisons anyway. The thing is, is that if you fill all these slots and say Tyrell recasts his attack down, it's not going to reapply it if all the debuffs are slots are filled. But then it's only one turn left on it. I'm going to do it anyway though because otherwise if I actually intentionally avoid casting those things, I would also have to avoid casting Nethril's A1, which could do three different poisons, and with Giant Slayer, it's as hard as hitting attacks. So I don't want to miss out on that just to make sure that I have attack down on him. I should be fine with attack down, and I also have Martyr who can do it as well. Alright, great, and she goes last. This is what I want in these rounds when the AoEs are about to happen. I want her going last here to do the counter on everybody right before the clan boss attacks. <clears throat> now see Poison Pig got, I guess it was a, yeah, he got a little bit of a turn meter increase here. I don't really want this because now, well, yeah, actually, this is fine because counter, he had it three turns on his counter because of that, it was a plentiful gifts or whatever it is. So this is actually great. So now Steel Skill is still going to have his two counters for the two AOE rounds. So I'm fine here. So, all right, great. And now I'm going to go ahead and pick this up a little bit because I want to try to finish this up. And I have to get to work. Oh, don't want to cap off those yet. All right, great. I want to get this attack down here. All right, good, good. I got it applied. All right, great. Yeah, I do not want to lose that attack down in these rounds because this is where the damage is going to start getting harsh. Ugh, see the only disadvantage now? I can't cast his A3 because the debuffs are full. This is where having too many poisons is actually a problem because I didn't get a chance to cast his. And as you can see, this damage is starting to get harsh here. I'm not going to be lasting too much longer. 
So this is where mm, this is where that attack down gets really important. Now see, I can't do the weakness again. This is the, again the, the disadvantage of this group. They have so many poisons, but I don't have anybody that I can get rid of in this group because all of my poisoners are so valuable. Steel Skull is at the bottom of the list, but the thing is, is with that stun removal, he makes it so that I'm going to put defense up on everybody because I want to. I don't want anybody getting one shot. And uh, I still can't. I still can't use his A3. I just got to keep coming at him with the A1. I really want that weakness up on the clan boss because it increases that damage by 25%. But uh, all right, so her counter is going to get thrown off now because I can't reduce this. See, this is why, like I said, Steel Skull is so great on this because. He has, oh, and he, wow, that's horrible, and he just missed with his attack down. Uh, I guess I'm okay, I still have one more turn, I just don't like him missing that and not keeping it up. Okay, so, let me see here, so I should be fine, Dracomorph should go next, and then yes, I can get weakness back up on it, great. Alright, so I'm going to do the Bale Fly, this does weaken and decrease defense. There we go, beautiful. Alright, Nethril. There we go, great. All right, and then I want him to do the attack down. Oh, he, how does he keep missing? That's crazy. He should not be missing that much. All right, uh, shoot. All right, so things are things are wonky now with her because she doesn't have the counter for both of those, but I'm, I'm not gonna be lasting too much longer, so I'm gonna do the counter now. It's only for one uh, round of AOE, but might as well do it. All right, and I want to get his attack down up, so I did not want to do Draco's poisons, because he's going to put a few up here. Yeah, he already put a few up. All right, so I want to get that attack down, or else, uh, great. All right, there we go. Good counterattacks. Great. All right, top your souls off. There we go. Good. Everybody top themselves off, except for Poison Pig, but that's okay. All right, and... C4, 8, and alright, so I'm going to have no problems topping off the poisons between Nethril and Steel Skull, so I'm just going to save. I like to save Dracos for kind of, it's like an in case of emergency, use this. <laughs> so, alright, good, and great, because usually with Nethril and Steel Skull, I, I can keep the poisons topped off no problem. It's rare that I ever need Dracomorph to do his, and mm, Regretfully, I really wanted that defense down up on the clan boss, but again, my poisons are capped, so I can't really do it. So again, this is all you got to be careful with too many poisons. I would rather have too many poisons, though, than too few poisons and have rounds where you see that the, the debuffs aren't topped off on the clan boss. All right, I absolutely want to remove that stun on him right now. All right, and here we go. Ugh. See that, that all right, I definitely want to get defense down up on the boss. I'm not gonna be able to do the weakness again, but alright, good. And here we go. Great, her timing. Alright, great. She must have had one of those uh, rounds where it decreased the cooldown skills because now her counter is set up to where I want it to be again. It was I believe that was one turn early though, but there's a skill that you can get. Let me see if I got enough room. I don't know. He's already ten, so I can't. I gotta use they want again, I can't use the A3 and get that weakness up. It's just everything's full. Hopefully this round I'll be able to get it up there, but I don't know. It depends on how many debuffs they do this turn. Great. That's what I love about Tyrell with the counter. It ensures I have that attack down up on the clan boss. Now, I... Let me see. Three, six, seven. All right. So I actually want to... Uh, normally, natural. the only thing you would want to do is, is A1 for the poisons. I don't want to do them right now, though, because I don't want to do the... Let me see here. I don't want to fill the debuffs. I want Dracomorph to get his up. And with same thing with here, if I cast his, it'll be 2, 4, 6, 7. Actually, I can use his. I can use Poison Pigs. And I still have the defense up for another round, so I want to save his for when the single target comes up all right great so i'm good all right now i can get the weakness up here so great gonna do baleful eye get my weakness great so now for this counter all right now i can use his a1 you see i love his a1 because so it does three attacks and with giant slayer three chances of doing that Ooh. oh man all right yeah this is oh 
That sucks. I'm glad I at least got that up before he went down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get everybody's defense up because some champions are going to lose their defense up. Natural already did. So I'm going to get defense up on everybody because now this is, this is about near the end here. I'm going to start dying soon. All right. So I'm just going to come at the clan boss with everything that I can right now. Alright, good. Definitely want to remove her stun. I can't have anybody stunned right now. I definitely want her counter as well because this is pretty much guaranteed the last turn, turn that I'm going to get a counter. Oh, so I must well take advantage of it while I can. Now, since you did miss the beginning of this, I will tell you in the beginning, timing went really well. There was only that one time where martyr had that turn messed up where she was stunned steel skulls couldn't remove the stun in time so it did mess up her timing for the counter attack but like i said that's the great thing about that uh, i don't know what the name of it is but there's a in the support tree there is an ability that makes it where it's a five percent chance to uh, reduce a random cooldown skill by one turn and that's what happened with Marta where her counter attack came back into the right timing that I needed it to again was because of that skill so it reduced the turn cooldown for her counter because it's rare that I ever use her A3. Her A3 is an attack down but the thing is is it's not an adequate attack down to rely on on the clan boss because even when you max out her skills you still can't keep it up on the clan boss at all times. Now, I need his defense up because they're about to lose their defense up from Martyrs in this turn. And I need that up at all times. So I'm going to come at him with the A3 for more damage. Because I got two turns still on the attack down, so I'm fine with that. And one of my champions might be getting one shot here. We'll see what happens. And that's cool. Alright, yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, he's still alive, so that's good. I definitely want to heal him because I don't want to risk anybody missing their War Masters or Giant Slayers and then not topping their hit points off because if that happens, I'm dead. Here goes my counter. Beautiful. And increase attack, uh, increase defense, excuse me. I see the disadvantage of having lost Dracomorph so soon. He must have gotten crit, and that's what took him out. So that was just a really bad RNG there that made me lose him, so I'm not getting the weakness up here. Oof, and Nethril just had really bad timing with missing his. Well, I still have another turn where he's going to do three attacks, so he should, emphasize should, heal himself and top himself off here. This is why lifesteal is so important in this. Yes, so he just topped himself off. That's why lifesteal is beautiful, because in the end here, if you don't have a heal up, or if you you could just run without a healer with lifesteal, and you don't... Oop, no, this is about done. You can run without lifesteal with... I mean, you can run without a healer with a lifesteal set because they heal themselves, and it's beautiful. The only reason I do have a healer is because I use that defense up from Poison Pig, and as you can see, the stun removal as well. All right, I'm going to come at him with the A3. His A3 hits harder than anything else. All right, here's where everybody's going to start dropping off like flies. And see, I couldn't remove her stun. And... All at this point, I'm just trying to get the maximum out of those poisons. I know I'm about to go down, Grace. So I got all the poisons off. And then this is, yeah, this is going to be death here. Boom, down. All right, let's see what I did here. Eh, 21.26, that's pretty decent. Not my best, but it's that's decent. That's good, especially on Nightmare. So all in all, this is good. I could, def I could get better here because I could get more debuffs, I mean not debuffs, excuse me, I could get more uh, gear increase, like more defense, more hit points, because I've been upping all of my gear lately, I was just able to start farming on the stage 20 dragon to get more life steal and speed gear, which is what you should have the combo of on your champions ideally, but anyway, now I can get into the gear later on another round, but just uh, for brevity here, uh, you want the life steal and speed ideally on everybody, as you can see his is not topped off here which means more hit points this one I believe is hit points as well it's only three star though so I'm not that worried about it but I mean I have to change up some of their uh, some of those as well so I'm still working on the gear like I said this account isn't that old you can see his hit points aren't topped off yet neither are his 
Uh, I just got this banner yesterday for him, and I didn't have the money to put into it to max it out. But as you can see, they could improve some, but overall, that was a decent fight. 21 over a little over 21. That's decent. So anyway, but yeah, we'll see what happens once I cap off all their gear. Definitely be doing some more rounds here, see what happens. But all in all, they did pretty decent. I'm happy with that for now. 21 point, was it 26 or whatever? That's good. So that's all I got for now, guys. So stay tuned for the next episode, and we will see what happens once their gear gets topped off. Until then, take care. Hi guys, this is Anthony here, also known on this channel as Ascending God. I wanted to thank you for checking out my channel here, really appreciate it. Be sure to check out the other videos, I got plenty of goodies on here. Also check out the description sections in the videos, got plenty of links on there for all different kinds of goodies that I think would be worthwhile for you guys. If there is something in particular that you don't see on my channel that you want to see, be sure to let me know in the comment section as well. And I think that's about it. All I've got, I'm just going to get back to this thing here. I'm pretty sure if I just... Oh! such sights to show you. Wow. That's really funny. Same here.